Hey, what's up guys? So I know that you guys really want to go and watch this video, but please watch this as it will save you time and money. Um, so yeah, quick disclaimer, if you don't have all the tools that you need uh, to do this project, it may cost you a little bit more and you might just want to buy that ducktail that's already made for your car, unless it costs you a lot of money. Because for my car, the one that I really want cost me 400 bucks and I'm definitely not spending 400 bucks on a ducktail. So that's why I'm going this route DIY. So the materials that you need for this specific video that I'm showing are dust mask or like a face mask, a glove, electric palm sander, sandpaper, blades, bundle spreader. And then for the materials that I've used are the FOMO, which is that gray moldable clay foam, a Loctite spray foam, a primer spray can, bondo, and spray paint can, and a, cl a clear coat can. Um, that's what I'm thinking of just doing it as my finish, but I'm totally not sure yet what I want to finish it off as. I might try to do fiberglass, but I can only do this on the weekend. I'm trying to do this budget friendly. If I had to do this project all over again, I would have just bought the moldable clay uh, foam as you can mold it to whatever you want to and you don't have to do a lot of cutting and sanding and you'll probably just have to bundle bundle, and make it smooth um, in certain parts but you could probably make it smooth with just this, uh, the moldable clay by yourself as well anyway but that would have saved me a lot of time and money so yeah continue on to the video okay so as you can tell i scrapped the whole um, the old uh, project so I'm just gonna stick with the uh, moldable clay foam uh, the FOMO so that's where I got right now uh, that gray piece and then I just kind of blocked off uh, my whole back trunk with uh, some tape and then uh, I'm gonna spray with some Loctite uh, spray foam and then uh, I'll cover it from there and then see how that goes So it's been about like 45 minutes. Uh, it's kind of dried, but it's still a little bit wet in certain parts, but I'm just gonna cut out whatever I can cut for now. Yeah, it's... Yeah, in thicker parts, it's still a little bit wet. I'm just gonna let it care for it a little bit more, and then I'll start cutting some more. But yeah, it's easy to cut. It just basically dries like foam. Okay, I'm ready now to do some sanding. So it does seem like it's gonna go on there nicely. Uh, so you gotta fill up some of the back part here. It doesn't sit flush, so I'll show you guys here. So I'm gonna put this down all the way. There's a big gap in the back here, so I'm gonna have to fill that up. All right, so I forgot to record this, but uh, I taped off the whole back trunk and then uh, I bundled the bottom part and then I sticked it on to the tape. So hopefully it stays flat. And then uh, on that, I'm just gonna bundle the whole top part and then send it down. All 
Alright, so I body fill or bono this the whole thing. And now for the fun part, I just gotta sand the whole thing down. Alright, so I'm tired of hand sanding, so I went and bought an uh, electric sander from Harbor Freight for like 20 bucks. And uh, just gonna use that to sand it down so it'll be much quicker for me. Um, so, yeah, I'm just gonna do that instead of hand sanding. Oh, 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 oh,